Okay. Uh, we alive? Seems like it. Let's continue with Satisfactory. Uh, let's put Performance Mode on first. That's a little bit better. Maybe it was just loading things in as well. Alright, so it looks like we've... Oh, that's right. We've finished our second coal generator... Uh, it's running off compacted coal. Uh, we've got a little bit of overflow after all that's done. And we're using it to fuel our first automated truck. What is that? And... I was going to say what happened to all of my items, but... Huh. That's interesting. Could probably reduce the number of nodes for the vehicle quite a bit. In fact, given what I've seen of the vehicle, uh, you could probably... Unless they put something in place to stop you from doing this. Oh, here, com here it comes. And it's going to be dropping off Quickwire and uh, Caterium. There it is. Fantastic. And off you go. Uh, um, yeah, unless there's something in place to stop you from abusing this, I presume you could probably delete like every node except for a couple, and the vehicle would probably fly or tell That's another giant gift. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, the vehicle would probably fly between the two points. How many of these gifts are going to drop out of the sky? They're everywhere. All right, let's open them up, shall we? A evil plug? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you feel better today. Thank you. Um, it wasn't much of anything yesterday, but it was sort of uh, in my throat, so not ideal for talking all the time. Oh, excuse me. Let's see what's in this uh, gift, shall we? Oh, it's literally just special fixmas building parts. Uh, buildings and parts can be obtained and produced from this holiday present. Okie dokie. So I guess we'll go pick them all up. And somewhere or other, I'm going to need a jetpack. We'll, we'll fortnight it this time. Uh, I actually don't have any resources on me because... What? Did that just... Did one of the gifts... No, I think it just landed. Okay. Uh, yeah, so last time on Satisfactory, uh, the car killed us. I tried landing on top of it, uh, of the sugar cube while it was driving automatically, and uh, physics glitched out and threw me through... I, I fell through the wall, uh, the world, basically. Underneath the ground. Hey, I am Suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
feeling better? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, might have some minor issues with uh, talking, but I think we'll be okay. That is a charger, and I have no items. I'm just following the little red bulbs for now. Alright, let's head back and rebuild all of our stuff, I guess. We'll start by picking up the quick wire. Luckily, resources in this game are infinite. So there's really no stress in losing items. Except for the time that it takes to get them back. If I keep following... If I keep going after every present that I see, we're going to be here all day. Whoop. This one's pretty close, though. Okay, give to me the quick wire, please. And I'll take the ingots, I guess. May as well grab a stack of each resource, if not two. What do we got here? Nothing. Those are ingots. And plate. Concrete. I don't think there's anything down here. I think I just used that for a ladder. Yeah. Rods. Screws, small plate, definitely. Uh, some of these. We can get a lot more at the other base. Oh, what's this? Merry Fixmas. Open calendar. Um, how does this work? Need help finding a number? Please enter a numeric value. What? Huh. Okay, so it's more of these gifts that just keep dropping out of the sky. I wonder... This date has not yet arrived and therefore no hint will be given. So it's the first days of Christmas kind of thing. Okay. That's kind of cool. But what do we do with... Does this look different? That's right, we need to make steel next before we can unlock anything else. Alright. What about the awesome shop? If I get rid of this, um, I presume the coupons are going to remain. You can have as many of these sinks as you want, right? Uh, maybe I'd better not waste the coupons. Okay. I do like the reefs on the power poles. So... Oh, I meant to make an awesome shop. Or maybe there's another kind of shop for Christmas. Nope. So these are all just asking for tokens. Maybe we have to save up and can't 
get anything for the Christmas tokens until the end or something. Alright, first things first, let's get some items back. I need a... wait, what? I thought I made two of these. We need five modular frames. And let me just double check, I'm not muted. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, Xeno Basher. We'll need a chainsaw just in case. Beacons are better made on the spot. And we definitely need Blade Runners. Two more cubes, two more rotors. Can we make rotors right now? Yes, perfect. Alright, that wasn't too difficult. We'll need to make some ammo. Stop at 51. Um, this goes here. And reload. Cool. I think that's everything item-wise, isn't it? We need to make sure we have some fuel for the ch uh, chainsaw. I don't know if I have anywhere automated anymore for uh, making biofuel, but we can easily make a lot of it just by killing one uh, charger. That's a lot of gifts. Take that. Let's go drop in on our old base. Um, I think it's high time I put a ramp over here. Can I... Can I use swoop mode for this? Build mode. Zoop, that's what it's called. Whoops. Yes. Yes, I can. What do we got here? A lot of copper sheet. Uh, stacked full of cable. There should be... Some wire here. I'm already carrying it, I forgot. Uh, I guess I used some of the cable. Am I carrying the quick wire? I thought I picked up quick wire. There's no way I use. Oh, there it is. Okay. And here is our rotors. And we're going to need a lot of reinforced iron plate. Hello, Big Bird. There goes our compacted coal. Almost uh, 120 per minute. That's good. I feel like actually I should overclock this to make sure that we saturate that belt. Oh, that was too far. So this thing gives us 120 coal per minute. Um, to make compacted coal, we have one, two, three, four, five machines, each doing 
25 per minute. All of the inputs and outputs are 25 per minute each. Um, is it N? 125 per minute. So that is... That is enough that we are bottlenecking on the coal itself. Or is it the sulfur? It looks like we're more bottlenecked on the sulfur because the coal is actually backed up. Um, this is all Mark II belt. So 120 per minute. Oh boy. Somehow I didn't take damage from that. I don't know if it just wasn't far enough to fall with the Blade Runners or if I did a little bit of a slide on a slope here. Not, not a slide, but if it broke my fall a little bit. 120 per minute sulfur, so it's in exactly the same... Oh, this is a normal node and we had to overclock this already. So if we want to saturate that output belt of compacted coal, we're going to need to fully overclock this one. And we'll need a little bit of an overclock for this one as well. Which is fine. I think this is the best use for power slugs in general, given that they are a limited resource. Oh, I just realized. I hope I wasn't carrying some power slugs when I died. There's a chance I was carrying all of them, but I don't think so. Yeah, because when the truck killed me, I fell through the ground and there was no death box. So we can't get those... Uh, if I was carrying uh, the things that you turn the power slugs into... What are they called? Power shards. Given that we've got 15 here, I'm not too worried. Um... If we lost any power shards through the ground, we're never getting them back. There are a finite number that you can get from the from the, the entire map. Though it is a lot. I'll take that. Okay, let me just double check something here. Oh, I never sent the I never sent the announcement because Discord asks me to confirm. I forgot to press the extra button to send an everyone. Whoops. Um what are we doing? Oh, that is a lot of iron plate. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Power shards. We just need one more in each of the miners. And that'll be enough to saturate this. Our target is 125 per minute. I think. Let me check this. So, our goal is 120 compacted coal per minute. We're doing 25 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, is 125. But if our goal is only 120 per minute, Wait, we don't need these extra... What am I thinking? Um, if we just have these do... 20? No, tw hang on. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, whoops. 120 over 5 is 24. That's what I thought. So, so we should. A hey, Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We should be completely saturating this. Um, yeah, we actually don't need these extra overclocks. 120 coal and sulfur per minute should turn into a hundred and... Oh, I forgot. We're still making um, black powder. That's why. As soon as this fills up, it actually will saturate. But we could save just a little bit of power. Um, that's actually nearly a megawatt per machine. You really get diminishing returns by going faster. In terms of how much power cost it takes. Uh, we'll change all of these to 24 per minute. That should make the output sort of more consistent as well. If things aren't totally saturated. Um, but yeah, we actually are just bottlenecking on uh, sulfur. But, oh. Oh, oh, nope, nope. What's up here? Nothing. Let's just go around this way. All we have to do is overclock this one a little bit more. And I actually forgot to check. Oh, wait. If this is if this is doing 120 per minute and our best belts are, our best belt is 120 per minute we can't actually do this because it only has one output it we could use two belts if it was possible to output directly into them but we can't do that really factorio in 2D wasn't enough, so you had to go with 3D Factorio? Sure, why not? Uh, we like Factorio in all its forms. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, yeah, that all, all of that just to say we can't yet... Um, stop bottlenecking on sulfur over here. However, as soon as we fill up on black powder, we will be getting 120 compacted coal per minute uh, consistently. However, I'm pretty sure we've already got more than enough that it will be accumulating, so... all of that was a bit excessive. Um, I think the next thing to do, apart from wonder where we're supposed to use these Fixmas gifts, is um, get some coal, uh, not coal, get some steel started. For that we need iron and coal. The, what are they called? The Christmas thingies definitely make it easier to spot the power poles. So I think around here somewhere we've got iron and coal fairly close together. One impure, two impure. And coal is down here. That could be better. It's like one normal iron plus coal. I think it's a pure coal node. In fact, yeah, I definitely remember it's a pure coal node. Um, there's a huge... It's all impure, but there's like six or eight um, iron patches over this way somewhere. That's copper. 
Definitely doesn't hurt to have the copper nearby, maybe. Here we go. Impure iron times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. I believe that's the same as four normal nodes. Or two pure nodes. We just have to make more machines. We also get this lovely flat area. One hour till first meeting. Effort. I'm taking the day off. Oh no. Wait. Who took a day off last time? You're not taking enough days off to get in trouble, right? A hail and shadow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We don't have Miner Mark II yet, do we? We do not. I think you need steel for that. Oh, I should probably heal up. Got to get those daily gears. Daily gears. Oh, right. I'm not taking one long holiday as others. I take one or two days here and there throughout the whole year. Fair enough. Rip present. Oh, my... My weapon model doesn't change, even while the field of view does. That looks very, very weird. Anyone play the old Alien vs. Predator games? This is bringing back memories. Alright, let's turn that off for now. Overconfidence? Uh, wait, where was the overconfidence today? I haven't done anything like that yet. Have I? Oh, I need some... I need one... T I need eight uh, portable miners. Let's go. Why can I only make three? I don't have rods. Um, is it worth... Whoops. Is it worth smelting on the spot just to make rods? I know they get built pretty quickly. Or should I run back and get some more? Depends how many we need. Minor. So this is only going to be 30 per minute unless we overclock it, which I'm not planning to. We'll put a, a merger right here. How well can I line these up? I kind of want this one to be... lined up so it can be as neat as possible. How about this? I should go here. That's pretty good. Regular belt is all we're going to need. Even with both of them. How many rods do I have left? 15. Wait, how much does one of these cost? It doesn't cost any rods, it's only the... Uh... It's only the portable miner that costs any. So we need six more. Not to mention the coal, so seven more. Seven times four is... Why am I blanking on this? Twenty-eight. Give to me 28 rods, please. 
including the ones that we'll keep handy so we can make a crafting bench. Aliens vs. Predators, I always lost orientation in the vents. I remember the, um, the demo for that game. Uh, playing as the humans was actually pretty hard, and it kind of, uh... It was actually kind of like the best first-person shooter training I'd ever had up to that point. Okay, so we should have enough. I think I forgot to make the portable miners. I should really not leave home without two stacks of rods as opposed to one. Alright, so these two miners at the back. Place them something like this. That looks about right. Might be one angle off. No, I think that's pretty good. Did I... That's a splitter. Merger. There we go. These two go here. Hmm. There's no way to have them facing the same way and line up. All right. Should I smelt them all in one spot or locally? Probably locally. Uh, smelter does 30 per minute, so we only need two. And then that's one 60 per minute belt coming out of it. In which case, we don't need these mergers because it'll be a perfect one-to-one -one ratio for miners into smelters unless and until we decide to overclock these. Which means we don't want these facing each other, actually. We'll have them... Facing the same direction, I guess. Whoops. I need more rods. I'm going back for more. I think uh, this time I'll set up another truck system to take steel and bring it back to somewhere. I'm not actually sure yet. Probably... A system of remote outposts and a bunch of trucks that bring resources to a common point might be a good idea. Uh, there should be way more iron rods available over this way. Around here somewhere. I can't remember. I think I didn't make storage 
explicitly for iron rods, but we're overproducing them and we can get five stacks just like this. I probably should make a storage just for iron rods, if only so I don't have to leap around um, just to pick them up like that. We've got plate here, maybe maybe we can belt the rods over to this. There'll be a little bit of spaghetti, but that's probably fine. Wait, how much... Uh, I'm sure a regular belt... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna have to double check. But by the time the iron rods are each here, we're definitely not doing... Uh, more than 60 per minute. Unless we've stopped consuming... Oh, like this. Okay. I think we will upgrade some of these belts. So these two. Oh, actually, this entire thing is only sixty per minute for iron rods. So yeah, that's totally fine. Let's do a uh, conveyor belt of the vertical variety. It's gonna run into our power pole. I don't like the look of that, but I don't see another way unless... Wait, what? Oh, I clicked... I clicked the plus thingy tells me how many resources I need. Okay. Is this gonna work? That's encroaching, but it's permitted. I think that looks okay. Alright. There. And then can we just go straight from here to here? It is allowed. Whoops, how does it look? Probably a little bit dodgy. Oh, I see. That looks fine. Oh, that's actually one too high, but it probably works a bit better. Cool. So now we're going to accumulate rods over here. Let's go back to setting up our steel production. Now that we've got about uh, 1400 rods. Maybe a little bit more than we need. Whoops. I didn't get stuck this time. Come to think of it, I probably should check if I can get stuck on trees anymore, but on the other hand, I don't want to kill the tree for no reason. Let's make a proper ladder here instead of this thing. Um, ladder? Do, will it let me do it like this? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, that's a bit ungood. How about here? Ah, 
That's good. Let's put down our miner. Actually, I should check where the belt is going to go. Maybe this way would make more sense. Oops. Follow the trail of gifts. I think that uh, bit of terrain over there is close to where we're going. Yeah, here we are. Alright, let's bring... You know what? I'll place the coal belt when we know exactly where it's going. Miners go... somewhere. Okay, let's continue placing these smelters. As soon as the giant tick gets out of the way. Let's double check the ratios are good there. That's going to be 120. The whole thing adds up to 240, doesn't it? Why does the... Oh, I get it. They're not at the same height. That's why it looks like those two things don't line up. Alright. Two more up here. This is probably way more iron than we need for the steel, but that's fine. Let's do these two in this general direction. Oh yeah, I forgot the alt key will line these up perfectly. Oh well. And we need some foundries. First we need some cubes. We'll build one of these things and get an idea of the rate. Actually, I think we'll just build as many as this area can support without overclocking. Okay. Steel ingot or... Oh yeah, that's right. We got a bonus recipe that makes copper. Uh, put in 10 copper and 5 iron. And it gives us 
20 copper. Not a bad deal. Could probably set up... The, we know there's copper relatively close by here. We could probably set it up to sort of do that as a lower priority, but mainly we're here for steel. So we need coal and iron ore, 45 per minute. Hmm. That does not uh, fit into 120 or 60 very well. Uh, I think we need four. Three belts of... Yeah. 60 times three... Iron ore equals four of these machines. We've got four, though. We've got 60 times four iron. Um, there's no way we're going to get a good ratio here. We could just underclock this, or we can have the extra go to making copper. Either way. So 4590, we, we want four of these machines. Well, five actually. That's the wrong crafting thing. I wonder if I can... No. Can't bring up this thing while we're doing that. Alright, so we need 40 modular frames. And now we don't have to remember it. Also, before I forget, I would like to make some solid fuel. Now if we get stuck on a tree... We don't have to kill ourselves. Just want to get this stack out of my inventory as well. Oh, rip. What if we do this? That doesn't really help. Oh well. Modular frames. I need to remember to automate these when I go back to the um, iron supply base. there. Hola, monsieur. Do you know Spanish? No. Bonjour, monsieur. Baguette. Men. <laughs> Spanish. Que pasa? Uh, welcome, subcatch. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the follow. Oh, we got our modular frames while we were talking. Let's go build some foundries. Uh, this is the part where I'm going to put down some foundations so we can make it all nice and neat. I'm not entirely sure how much space this is going to take up. But let's start over here. Not going over the food plant. Did I leave enough room here? I think so. Yeah, that's good. And 
and then along here as well. Probably need more than three uh, width. Let's see if this is okay. So we want a line of uh, four uh, foundries. We'll probably do the same layout as we did with the, uh, what are they called again? Assemblers, yeah. I, I almost thought assemblers were constructors. This doesn't take up exactly one foundation, does it? No. Okay, how far apart do these have to be if we're going to do the splitters on top of each other thing again? That's definitely too close, is it? Yeah, it is. Splitter. Let's get a better view. Okay, splitter goes, can I not, I would love to, okay, there it is. Oh, that's a smart splitter. We just need a regular one. Uh, so one, two, three, four should maybe be enough. It is. I'm pretty sure three is not enough. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. And then we want the exact same spacing over here. If we can. One, two, three, four. I don't really care which way I go with these, but I want to be consistent. Oh. I feel like my instinct is to do top left. And that should be symmetrical. Can sort of fit one of these between. Yep, that's good. Okay, that's wrong. And one more. goes here. Actually, it might be good to use mark two. Up to seven. That's perfect, actually. We can do twice as many. Instead of one, two, three, four, if it's in a line, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And one to spare. Um, snap to guidelines. No. Wait, what? Why does holding snap to guidelines allow me to place it on top of a conveyor belt? That seems a little odd. What's the best uh, spot that I can get in the middle of all these? I want to put it on top of the uh, the splitter, but I don't think it wants to let me. Quick switch. Oh, that's handy. 
Build menu, right mouse button. Sample building, I know what that does. Okay. Is there some way I can cheese this by uh, building foundations? It's not gonna let me put this over here, is it? Maybe if I get rid of the splitter. Then it's gonna then it's gonna snap to here. It's not looks like it's not quite gonna be in the middle. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be displeased with this no matter how I do it. I don't know if those belts are necessarily gonna be connected properly. After re uh, replacing this thing. So, I'll replace them now rather than later. And we'll just put the power pole over here. Considering the bias of uh, where these connectors are, well, no, that's pretty much fine. Okay. I kind of did this backward if I want to prioritize these products first. Also, this ended up taking considerably less space than I expected. Uh, so if we're doing steel, of course, this is actually step one, so maybe this should have been further back. It's probably fine. 45 per minute, 45, 90, 180. Um... We're going to be bottlenecked on coal for now until we get better belts, but I think steel is all that's needed for better belts, so we'll still keep this as is. Um, so we're going to need 180 iron per second, which we've got. Um, I might just set up one more of these. Oops. And we'll make the ones at the end uh, copper. Or maybe we'll double it. We'll have the copper at the end so it's a lower priority, but once everything's backed up, we can do copper faster. Let me do some more of these. We need 20, uh, 20 cubes. A baker staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Try putting a foundation on top of the splitter first to make the power pole. Yeah. I thought I remembered being able to put power poles on splitters quite easily before. It is a pretty obvious place to put them. Central, elevated, out of the way. Alright, let's place a few more. Oh, these are sticking out over the foundations. Whoops. That's probably going to be fine. Prob probably. Um, or I could be just obsessive enough to want to move all of these over a little bit. 
Uh, do we have a diagonal kind of? No. Uh, help me, awesome shop. You're my only hope. Can't afford. Wait, can I only place one of these? I've cl I can clearly afford. Oh wait, no, I can't. All right. Awesome shop. Foundations. That's not what I'm looking for. Neither is this. I thought there was a... Oh, that'll work. We need five tokens. I think we've only got like two lying around back at base. But yeah, I'll, I'll just have this one like sticking out a little bit for now. Is this going to be a problem? Uh, it might be. We can get away with it. I can probably adjust the angle of the miner as well, if it's particularly bad. Alright. Line up this with the center. Oh, I need. Wait, how many have I built here? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That all looks good. So the first uh, probably four of these are going to be steel ingot. That'll add up to 180 per second. That'll be most of our iron and we'll need to overclock the coal to keep up with it. Uh, the rest are going to be copper alloy. Hundred per minute each. Four hundred per minute theoretically, total. Uh, sure. So we're gonna need multiple belts of output to keep up with that. Um, let's put the other one on the opposite side this time. I think I will move this a little bit right now. Make it a bit neater. Nice and easy. Oh, it even shows exactly how to put it as close as possible. Should have done that before. Alright. Um... Thirty times eight. Two forty. That's plenty. Oh, I kind of forgot. So if half of these are all of these require iron, half of them require coal, and half of them require copper. Um, and we maybe get the copper in this way. 
or something. Makes it a lot easier to place this stuff sometimes. That it allows us to do this. Oh, that wouldn't even be permitted. It is sort of slightly encroaching on the power thingy here. I wonder if... Yeah, no. I'm glad they allow this clipping now. Otherwise things might get a little bit ugly. You could probably do... Um, a vertical coming out of here, then you'd want to change where that power line is if you're sensitive to that sort of thing. But no, I think this is fine. Well, there is one minor change that we could make. That looks a little bit better. Alright, so this is going to be copper, which I think is just down here. Yes. Yes, it is. I feel like I should leave that there as like a... Uh, it's almost building a bridge. Uh, we're fine. Yoink. We need some more portable miners, no doubt. Oh, I still have four for some reason. Did I dismantle and forget about some miners or something? These two only add up to 60 per minute. Let's do a merger right here. Oh, do they not... Can we line it up? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Although that's a bit close. What? Really? Why is this forbidden? Is it really too much of a height difference? Maybe we can slip a foundation in here. Oh, it didn't place because I was doing the zoop mode. P2 soon complete. P2. Now it's snapping and I can't... Who would have thought it'd be difficult to put a merger between these things? Uh, I guess if we... place the foundation right in the middle... and then the merger... Don't know if that's going to work on the other side. Nope. It's too far to the left. Oh. That one doesn't connect either. You're kidding me. 
Alright, fine. I'll stop trying to do it this way. I'll just have them face this way diagonally. And put a merger right about here. Phase two objectives. Oh yeah, the uh, one part of it anyway. What? Oh, is... Wait, what? Did I face it the wrong way? I did. Merger... Go this way. That does not need to be tier 2 belt. And then... We need a lift. Is the lift going to go this high? Well, let's give it a hand. That might be too close. Yeah, that's a bit too close. All right, cool. Finally. Kind of want to go up there to make sure I can see exactly where I'm placing it. I think this was the first tree that killed me by getting me stuck. All right. That was a bit closer to the ground than I expected. Much better. And then... Here's our target. So, if we're only getting... Oh, I forgot to smelt. If we're only getting 60 per second. I guess we could have done two belts. That's fine. Let's add a splitter right here. Couple of smelters. Uh, hold on, we don't have to smelt it, do we? This takes copper ore and iron ore. And this takes iron ore and coal. So all of these uh, smelters are completely unnecessary. Whoops. <laughs> well, that'll simplify things ever so slightly. Uh, so we don't need these two, we don't need to split here. Um, we just need to bring this over here. That'll be copper. And I think we'll need two belts for the iron. 30 times 8 is 240. Um, I can't remember, does anyone, can I check the throughput rate of Conveyor Belt Mark 3 before I unlock it? I might have to go back to the hub to do that. If I can fit, well, no. I was going to say, if I can fit all of the iron on one belt later, I would rather build it with one belt. But then, maybe I want to leave room to upgrade anyway. Actually, we're putting it all through one belt anyway, with the way we've done those splitters, so... 
So I guess it's pointless to worry about it. I'd still like to know. All right. I can't even click on tier five. Here we go, logistics three. 270 resources per minute. Uh, so four and a half regular belts. May as well run some power poles out there while we're here. Wire is too long. This game needs big, big electric poles. I guess we can peeky back off that one, or we could just go straight this way. So yeah, until we overclock, all of this is going to fit on one steel belt. That's good to know. Uh, coal is going to come from over this way. Can I line this up a little bit? Probably should be making this a tier 2 belt already. Actually, how much coal do we even need here? Uh, 45, 90, 180, so yeah. Tier 2 belt isn't going to be enough, actually. Whoa, that looks a bit weird. Wait, what? Oh, the zoop. Uh, how do I turn it off? Off a... Nope. There we go. Can I... jump that? Just barely. That's good. Can't afford. Oh, crap. That's actually true. Um, I guess I'll finish it with regular belt for the moment. And over this way. Finally, cool. minor. Gonna need some power. Can I zip line this? Not quite. There we go. Let's make it a little bit better for the zip line. Uh, 
That should be okay. If it not changed, it would be 270, I think. Yes, indeed. Marcel29, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, power, go this way. And this way. Oh, and I guess we could connect it down here. That's good. Let's just double check. I think we should have power for our uh, coal mine. Here it comes. Nice and easy, except for when you try to jump around the wire and it snaps onto the one you're trying to jump off of. Whoops. I completely forgot about this little ladder here. I really need it, I think. There we go. Okay. Copper's already saturating the belt. We just need to merge all of this iron. So, since it's all going to merge onto one belt, I think we'll just run it past each miner. Uh, merger goes here. I, I wish the inputs with the orange uh, triangles didn't show as green on the opposite side. Alright, this will be fine. And one over here. Wait, that is a merger, isn't it? Yep. Maybe I should have a Mark 1 belt on... Uh, on the page where... I'm using... Uh, I'm placing the splitters and mergers from because I keep doing a muscle memory where I go straight to connecting it like so. Usually it's a Mark I belt that we want coming out of these machines. Alright, so... Don't need any of that. The fact that we don't need the smelters here completely changes the layout. That's an input, even though the belt is showing, it looks like it's going the wrong way. We can do it like this. That might be almost good. Merge go this way. I can live with that.
find one that uh, over here. And last but not least. One final merger. Hello, Big Bird. That's too close. Well, no, it isn't. All right. It's kind of a long path. So it takes uh, two of these to saturate a Mark 1. Those are all fine. This one will have to be Mark 2. I've run out of plate. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 30 is too much for a Mark II. This has to be a steel, so it doesn't actually matter that much at the moment. More importantly, we should connect up the power and get this thing started. Let's get a better view. And most of these we'll just do a power pole between two of them. Maybe a well, I was gonna say maybe a Mark II power pole would make sense over here, but I'm not so sure. I guess that's okay. Yeah, that'll do. Wait, how many connections? Okay, that's good. Uh, all of these are already powered. So now we just need to head over this way. How far can we do the wire? Further than expected. Let's put it next to this thing. Okay, that feels wrong. Let's do one more. Oh, look at that. It's easily letting me put this power pole on top of the merger. I wonder why it didn't like it over where we're using foundations. And that should be steel. Of course, we have to turn it into other products yet, but other than that, Oh, I almost forgot uh, this belt right here. Fantastic. The next thing we need is to make steel beams and steel pipes, which actually is just a constructor recipe. 20 per minute, 15 per minute. Do I want to... I'll, I'll see what I can finish building over here before we run back to 
pick up resources to improve the belts. So theoretically all we need here is two constructors. I'm really running out of uh, reinforced iron plate. But if I remember correctly, steel beam is all you need to make the conveyor belt, so let's get started with that. That's copper. Nice. Uh, give it a little bit of power. So the rate is 60 steel ingots per minute just for one constructor. And it makes a quarter as much uh, steel beams. These are all outputting 45 per minute each. So we've got that same uncomfortable ratio. Uh, 90, 180. We can do three of these machines if it's all going to steel beams. Um, since I've completely run out of reinforced iron plate, let's go get some more. And then we'll start looking at upgrading our belts. It's also going to be nice to uh, no longer being, having an overlap between a resource that we need for belts all the time and, like, stuff that goes into most buildings, although I'm sure that won't last. That looks a little weird. Hey, Rocky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, are you cheating Factorio with 3D Factorio? Yes. This is, uh, this is my usual for my variety day for now. Let's sort inventory and see what we've got. Reinforced iron plate should be here. Fantastic, that's a lot. Uh, iron pl wow. We're actually full on iron plate. And rods. We're already carrying a lot, but it's good to see them stacking up, nevertheless. Um, that should all be fine. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I've only got nine concrete. That's not what I thought I was forgetting, though. Something over here that I thought about automating, or... I know I already put the rods in storage. Oh, that's it. We want an assembler around here somewhere. Because we want to automate um, cubes. That's not quite right. Can I do it like this? Why is that not... It doesn't look right. Probably because this thing's at a diagonal. Invalid shape? How do you figure? Okay, that'll be fine. Assembler goes here. 
that should leave room to put a belt over this way. Modular frame requires iron rod and reinforced iron plate. We just so happen to have iron rod right here. And now we just need to give it some power. Um, I don't see any nearby power poles. In fact, this this is a bit dodgy already. Oh, we can put power poles on top of these things. That's good. And that will be modular frames. I faced it the wrong way, didn't I? How is... Okay, there we go. Two per minute, that is not very fast. I wouldn't object if variety would mean Factorio speedrun. I don't think I'd be a very good speedrunner. We could find out. Okay. That should be everything we need for now. Let's go finish our steel build. Uh, don't get stuck on a rock and fall to my death. a few hitches running through that area. I think that's also concrete. Alright, we should have some... Not that much, uh, steel beams. Let's improve the throughput, shall we? So I think we figured out that four of these machines, 45, 90, 180, supports only three of these. Yep. And I think I would like to... Uh, we'll set it up so that we could do full production rate of either beams or pipe. Pipe would require twice as many machines. So we need nine in total if we're going to do that. This is probably overkill. Uh, but let's see how it fits. Okay, yeah, that's really overkill. Um, I could go vertical and do another layer of these above. Can we do... This is not high enough yet. Wait. Oh, I was going to say, if those just happened to line up the same, that would have been a bit of a coincidence, to say the least. So we'll put... Uh, foundations like so. And for now we'll ignore the fact that they are mysteriously floating. Uh, 
We actually only need three of them above. Probably shouldn't get rid of my way up. How about a ladder? Yeah, the ladder's... Uh, uh, the ladder is what's holding all of this up. Makes perfect sense. Don't question it. Alright, so that one lines up with the edge over here. I don't suppose... I'm gonna get this to... line up exactly the same. Unless... I think that's right. And I guess we don't need these ones. So these will be steel beam. These ones are all steel pipe. And we'll merge and then split all of the uh, steel ingots, which are going to add up to 180 per second, which we can handle with a steel belt. Um, I guess because we've got the copper merging over here, we'll have to have... we'll either have to have the steel on the outside, or we can stack it vertically. Assuming we go out here far enough. Except then the steel has to go vertical and less vertical at the same time. Let's just do it this way. I'll put a merger there in case we want to change something like what we're doing with the, with the recipes. This is less than one belt, and then more than one belt. Can I not? Let's do it like this. It's pretty good. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Right about here, I think, we'll have a splitter. And a lift. Oh, that doesn't go where I thought it did. How close can we put a splitter over here? Technically, we can go closer, but... That should be fine. And then we need one here first. lift goes up here, maybe? No, that, I think we're going to need another foundation up there.
Okay, split up. And split up. How much does this need? 15 per minute each. That's easy. Can I not? Okay, fine. You win this round. Nope, no you don't. I don't like that. Much better. So total... Oh, the input is 60 per minute for each one. But... I don't actually have the good belts yet, even though I do have a bit of steel plate. Let's just do... Mark who's up here for the moment. That's facing the wrong way. Splitter. Goes there. Since we're going to have to upgrade all this anyway, and we're splitting between machines that can consume more than we're supplying, I'm not going to worry too much for the moment about which belt we're using. Yeah, that actually lines up really well. Okay. Now all that's left is to place these ones. Who knows, I might end up expanding this. Besides, it's actually a little bit easier to place. Turn this around. Get these connected. Nope. And now all we need to do is mirror this on the other side and merge it all in. I think we'll put the merger here. Same stuff on the other side. Let's check the rate that we've got already. Looks like this is going to be 90 per second. Yep. And it's limited to 120 per second belt. So once we get one more machine linked up, um, that's going to be the limit until we upgrade the belts. didn't actually realize we're going to run out of space over here, and it looks okay. Okay, so copper merges over this way. Is that it? I feel like I put it closer on the other side. No, that looks about the same. I th think. Yeah, it's the same. All right. That's going to have to change a little bit. A hundred per minute for each machine. Wow.
Does this look like it's encroaching? Uh, if you look closely, it's actually... Sort of is, yeah. Okay. This one goes here. And I don't think we'll be expanding back this way. What? So that is our steel. I think it's slightly further away on this side, but I don't care too much. And then we're going to actually have to power these machines. There's an item from the shop I really hope I can afford already. Um, wall power outlet. I think you can put these on a ceiling or floor as well. Could be wrong. Let's just double check. They don't have... Here it is. Yeah, so I just need a few. Alright. Let's just connect these up normally for the moment. Actually, put a power pole over there first. And one up here. Here. And here come our steel beams. steel pipe. Fantastic. So first priority I think is to get logistics 3, then we can upgrade these belts and get full throughput of steel. We've already got 18. I meant in the machines, not over here. Niron Wolf, thank you very much for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, it won't be nearly enough, but let's go have a look at how much I need for the um, uh, milestone. Space elevator really is pretty cool. Okay, logistics three. Just need 200 steel beam, 100 pipe, and a little concrete. That's actually pretty easy. Let's go pick up some more concrete. I think it's up he uh, down here. It's going to take a few minutes, but it really won't be that long until we can do Logistics 3. 
Uh, hello? I think my mic mute thing is backward. I hope I wasn't coughing into the microphone. I got it set up so the scroll lock tells me if I'm muted. But it looks like it got out of sync. There it goes. Okay. Performance mode. And what should we do while we wait for that? I've got some I've got all the decent gear for this stage of the game, so maybe some exploring. Uh, and let's put our irreplaceable items back in this chest. Actually, let's put a lot of stuff in a chest so we have more inventory space. Um, why don't I just put everything in here and then pick some stuff up? Because there's way more... It's actually way more stuff than I thought. Concrete, quick wire, ammo, food. Okay, that seems good. Let's, uh, let's do a little exploring. If I, remember, if I remember correctly, there's, oh, you can see it very clearly because of the clipping distance. There's a cave right about here. Also some friends. Turn on the old flashlight. Giant blue mushrooms. Oh, this looks different. Hey, uh, hello. Spooders. I don't remember this place being quite so purple. This now looks like Half Life. A little bit, yeah. I quite like what they've done with the place. The last time I was here, there was no purple stuff. It looked a lot more barren. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Nope. Um, I believe we can get some kind of mushroom resource from in here. I could be wrong. It's all just leaves. Hmm. Alright, let's keep going. I think the cave just keeps going up and exits up the top. What is it called? My cellar? We need some of that for research, but it's not in this cave anymore. Um, I believe over this way there is a very nice big, uh source of water. And coal is not very far away from it, so it's a very good place to build a coal plant. Did 
There might be some other stuff, I don't remember what exactly. There it is. That looks pretty cool. Whoop. More charges. I think there's some, uh, uh, crashed pods up this way as well. Hitching's a bit much. I wish they would do a bit more of a slow load of the environment at a longer distance. How close is this game to Factorio? Um, in terms of production, it's really not on the same scale, or at least it takes a lot more work to do it on the same scale. Um, as far as I've seen, the complexity of recipes and like doing clever things with circuits and stuff like that is nowhere near as well um but obviously there's a lot more going on with exploring the environment and the graphics and stuff like that oh poison thingy oh i think if i keep going up here, there might be something cool. Is it this way? Yeah, it's kind of a... Oh. No, it's not this way. I could have sworn... I thought I remembered having to jump up these uh, bone-looking thingies. But that might be somewhere else. Impure. 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 It's four impures is equal to two normals is equal to one pure. Hello. Where's the other one? I don't want it to die on top of the iron patch because sometimes... You can never reach the alien carapace. Oh, wow. Careful. Um, I don't exactly remember where to find... Explosives required. Oh, is this... Is this underneath me? Or how far is it? No, it's pretty far, actually. Whoops. I don't actually have any explosives yet, though. Although I have the black powder. I completely forgot we could research that stuff by now, I think. Um, I don't think we need to pick up any more quartz like that until we find an infinite source. Oh, let's go find that one cave. I may be getting a little bit lost, but I'm pretty sure it's in this general direction. Oh, I almost missed some bacon. Ouch. What is that? Oh, it's another one of these. 
they don't actually do anything yet. Was that what I thought it was? It is. I don't know if this does anything yet either, but you won't be finding a lot of it. What was that sound? That's a big one. Let's maybe not melee it. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. What artifact? Is it here? Oh, there it is. With the spooky bone thingies. That is sulfur. I think the cave we're looking for is up there. I'll have to approach it from another angle if I don't want to fortnite my way up there. Also, there's another good spot production wise I think this way oh hello I did want to find another hard drive or something what do we got industrial beams on the ground Fifty-three megawatts. I think that is just a couple of biomass burners. Yep. Let's get it get it done. We only need Oh, I forgot to bring fuel, but that's okay. Uh alien carapace. And then solid fuel, let's go. Two hundred is divisible by eight, right? Of course it is. Oh, but one hundred isn't. Oh well. So I'm going to end up with that extra stack, regardless. We only need to run this for a second. And then... Yoink. And there's our hard drive. Let's make a man. Is there anything else I could research before we commit to this 10 minutes? Uh, power switch, I'm not really excited about, but we could do it relatively soon. But not before I'm done exploring anyway. We're actually probably able to make the Nobelisk detonator even before we unlock steel beams. Uh, I mean, not steel beams, these ones. Encased industrial beam. I think I've got at least one at home. But we need a hundred steel pipe for the ammo anyway. Oh, here we go. Fixmas holiday gift. We need a hundred. Um... Put the rest of these in a stash at home, 
giant fixmas tree, fixmas tree branch. Okay. I think for now we'll just start the hard drive. And I'm pretty sure it was over here. There's, um, I think it's quartz. An infinite supply of quartz. That's limestone. Here we go. This is not the cave I was looking for, but it's a good one to find anyway. Uh, okay, fine. If you insist, I will shoot you. Bacon. Where does this go? These are not the droids you're looking for? Yeah, no, there was a cool cave. That's a purple slug. There's a cool cave that I wanted to head towards before going back to base. Uh, this one's pretty useful as well, though. Those are quartz nodes, and we need quartz for research. Um, I think we'll fortnight our way up here. I think this is a... I think this is the first purple power slug. Where does this go? This looks like a very deliberate player jumpable path. Oh, never mind. Unless... Oh boy. Oh no. Oh crap. Um... Ouch. That hurt more than I expected. That almost killed me. Let's not do that again until we have a parachute or jetpack. And I don't have health to spare, so why don't I just shoot this one? Could you please step away from the quartz? There we go. Yunk. Okay, um... What I might do... I don't want to spend too much time here right now. But I can at least set up a couple of miners. Uh biomass burner and a container and we'll come back here for quartz later on miner what's the rate from this i guess we only need raw quartz anyway 120 per minute oh it's pure fantastic Let's do a couple of containers. Um, about here. By the way, you can shoot the ball to break it. Not sure if not sure if nail gun one shots it though. Shoot the ball. What ball is that? Alright, let's do... How much power does this need? Only 5 megawatts. Just the one biomass burner will do. Um, before we go, we'll make a bunch of solid biofuel. Industrial containers with two input slash outputs. I don't have those yet. 
uh, RPHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Same to you, Ninja Dogs. And uh, Adroxor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. From the monster. Oh, you can shoot down the fireballs. I don't know if that would be worth it with the rebar gun. It's too slow. But definitely worth trying later on. Or we could do it sooner for an experiment. Alright, so that should be a decent amount of quartz when we come back. Actually, let's make a beacon. That's a container, not an equipment workshop. How are you doing, RPHL? Quartz mine. And I think I think we've spent enough time that we should have probably three stacks of steel, honestly. So, what am I trying to do here? This goes here. And this goes here. Let's head back, shall we? I'm really looking forward to getting hypertubes again. Oh, and a geyser. I forgot about this. Um, I guess that's just a really good supply of water. Ouch. Oh yeah. Suffering, my favorite thing to do. Well, you gotta do what you love. Uh, this sandy path, I think, connects up with uh, somewhere where our truck goes. Ouch. Geyser? What? Oh, I see. I see what you did there. I think there was another one. Yes. And I think somewhere in here there's coal, question mark? That's not where I want to go. That's full of spiders. Also, I don't have a gas mask yet. What's this? Nothing. Okay, so those are just leaves. So I don't know where to find uh, my cellar at this point. That's a copper node. This is normal coal. Times two. And just around the corner is that huge body of water. So without overclocking, this can support 16 coal plants if I remember correctly. Very convenient uh, ramp going all the way back up. There is another. Oh, another coal node? Wait, I can scan for it, I forgot. That is quite close. bumping into something. We need the uh, detonators to access this one. And that is normal as well. So that would be uh, 24 coal plants that this area can support. That's quite good. Yeah, there's three, I think. Was that another gift? Oh, yep, there it is, way up there. 
Okay. Mem research complete. There's four, one more next to the explosive one. Oh, okay. I'll check it out next time. RV Park, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And here is our truck path. Ouch. Alright, so I didn't mark it, but I, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Oh, I see them. I think I see our machines. I can just barely make make out some of them, sort of. Some of them are still active. That's a lot of steel pipe. Fantastic. So we only need a hundred steel pipe. We've got way more than enough for the next milestone. Same goes for steel. Not so much. We've got a spare 131, but as for pipe, I think I will take it all. Actually, this isn't really a reason to. Let's just get a few stacks. Ah, what the hell, let's get all of it. It's only going to be a few stacks more. Time to head back to the hub. Mr. Non-Covered One. Oh, okay. The coal. Do you have three constructors making beams? Yes, that is enough to completely consume all the steel uh, produced over there if it's not overclocked, and we can't even keep up with the belts that we've got just yet. So, we'll actually have to unlock Logistics 3, and then head back there and put some of our steel beams to use, so that we can get steel beams faster. Here we go. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Nice. Five whole minutes until I can do another one. I don't know if we would be able to go faster though. Advanced steel gives us encased dust. Ooh, minor mark too. That's gonna make things a bit easier. So we need uh some more concrete. Some more wire and some rotors. And we'll have that ready as soon as the uh, raft comes back. Let's go get those rotors. Base surrounded by all these bushes looks very cozy. Yes, indeed. D do you mean like the original little spaghetti base? Let's head up here. Oh, and let's grab some 
cubes while we're at it. I think one stack is more than enough to carry for a while. Oh, we've been... Okay, it has been... It has been accumulating, so that's not too bad. I could maybe slow this one down a bit, though. Let's grab some more rotors. And anything else? Maybe plate. And I think we've got enough rods for now. Oh, and concrete. Almost three minutes until the next drop. Let's go upgrade those belts. Where the hub is? Yeah, that was uh, very much a spaghetti base. Is that what I think it is? Little reindeer antlers on the uh, lizard doggo? That's adorable. Oh, he stopped running. How about this? That was disconcerting. I thought I was under, under attack by Mecha Santa Claus or something. Yeah, man. Oh, he's got a little reindeer nose as well. Good boy. Okay, let's go upgrade our belts. I've actually only got 80 seconds left to get back to the hub if I want to go fast. It's probably not going to happen at this rate. So let's see, we need... Conveyor belt 3, lift 3. Oh, we got stackable pipes now, that's good. I forget exactly which belts need to be upgraded. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure coal, maybe. 45, 90, 180 per minute. We absolutely need to upgrade the coal line. Although we're probably still going to be bottlenecking on the miner itself for the moment. Haven't got that one unlocked. Let's go get some more steel plate. Get an idea of what our budget is for the moment. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty-four. Um... I'm pretty sure we're bottlenecking... These two are 90 per minute, this is tier 2, that's fine. This is a bottleneck right here, or it should be. I'm seeing gaps. It will be a bottleneck anyway, so we should upgrade it. Um, this is kind of a higher priority. I think we'll just leave the tier 1 belts going into the pipe machines for the moment, and prioritize, so 60 per minute is fine for here, here, and here, this one would have to be 120, this one, I guess 120 per minute, no, uh, this has to be 3 times 60, so that is a tier 3. And that right there. Tier 3. Alright, so what's the main bottleneck at the moment? 
Uh, doesn't look like it's coal. Oh, it's definitely iron. Wow. I thought this would be a tier 2 belt. Uh, 30 per minute from any one of these machines, so it's really just the bus that needs to be upgraded. And if I recall correctly, this doesn't actually have to be tier 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 machines times... It's 180. So yes, it does have to be tier 3. Everything after that. Two of these are 60. That's fine. And this is 180, which is more than... 120. So that's actually totally fine. I think. This would actually be 150. Hey, buddy. Oh, you brought me iron ore. I, I have, I have so little. Thank you. Good boy. Okay, so I think that fixes that bottleneck. Um, maybe we should have a ladder over here? I think I can probably climb this straight up. So we should not be bottlenecked on iron, that looks correct. Bottleneck is now coal. Hopefully we've got enough uh, steel plate to take this all the way back, but I doubt it at the moment. Yeah, I'm positive we don't have enough. Nowhere close. I'll wait till there's another stack. Wait. I could do tier 2 belt while we're here. Unless tier 2 is what we've already got. That's a tier 1. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we just doubled our steel production. And... We should have enough... Right now. To finish the next milestone. How many presents are there on this map anyway? Must, if it if it's dropping them everywhere, which it probably isn't, because games don't usually do that, there must be thousands. Okay. Yoink, 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 yoink. And a yoink. Milestone reached. Logistics Milestone reached. With a larger storage container. Enhanced conveyor belt hey, we got the container. The These are not just good fuel. as containers. Um, An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. You're kidding. Didn't these used to... Oh. The graphic is wrong. Industrial storage shows it with only one output, but it's actually got two inputs and two outputs, which is, although it's a lot bigger, um, it's exactly what I wanted to have a while ago in the shape of a merger or splitter. But yeah, it's basically Two storages stacked on top of each other, but it counts as one container. 
We've also got... What else did we unlock? Minor Mark II, that's kind of a big deal. Um, I think we have some industrial beams lying around, yes. We've got enough already to upgrade two of our miners. Uh, more importantly, we can probably... We can make industrial... Encased industrial beams ourselves. Well, there's no other milestone to select for the moment. Um... Yeah, I think I think we just keep adding to steel production and upgrading those belts for now. Oh, there should be a whole lot of stuff we can research now as well. I think I forgot to check the hard drive. We can make steel rods 48 per minute from one constructor. How do we look at the... as opposed to 15 per minute? That's pretty good. What else have we got? Another way to make Katerium. I've never had a shortage of Katerium. Um, and we don't have refineries yet. Same goes for uh, quartz. This is really easy to make. Masiha Darkness, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I I think I remember having a little bit of trouble with throughput with quartz crystals, but really not. Oh no, I started sending science to space. Space started making more science, and my power ripped. <laughs> Rip in pepperoni's power. A sigma bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Steel rod's nice because it skips a step. Yeah, especially considering that production chain um, that I just set up. I didn't bother making any iron plate directly. I found out when Bida started attacking the walls. Oh no. That's why you gotta have that... Uh, those gun turrets as backup. Well, that's one thing you can do. I, th I think we will go for the steel rods. Um, this stuff really doesn't excite me very much. Um, but what did we need steel for? Research-wise. We can do power switch. That really doesn't interest me at the moment. Um, although... If you can automate the power switch based on a condition, that might be good. Uh, I, stator. Those are not hard to make. Wait, can we make those right now? We literally just need these two resources. Assembler or crafting bench. I could make 97 at the moment, and we only need, uh, we need 25, so that's an option. Power slug, uh, let's get that out of the way right now, shall we? Only takes three seconds, though. This is what we need quartz for. I think you need to mass produce these for computers, um... So maybe I should have gone for the quartz thing, but I don't remember it being that much of a problem. This I really want to unlock. Let's go... There's a couple of things I need to pick up cable for, for research. And then we'll go get that explosive powder. What is this? Uh, 
Candy Cane Basher. Is this a reskin for the Basher? Heavy Delicious Self Defense. <laughs> and Candy Cane is... Does nothing, I guess? Is it part of this thing? Yeah, there we go. Rewards, Candy Cane, and... Fix Miss Bow costs Candy Cane. What? Oh, this is a power pole, I think. Is it? It looks like it, it's, it's completely upright, so I wonder. So I need uh, Fixmas tree branches. How do I... How do I get those? Okay, enough distractions. I want to get that cable for a couple of things we definitely want to research. It gets worse. Media defense doesn't have enough power. It fell right into my solar field. Are you playing Dwarf Fortress? Because, damn. This sounds like a spiral. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. We need five of these things. Let's do this one first. Now we can find purple slugs more easily. Um, I need a equipment workshop. I can't remember why. What was I doing? Research. Oh, that's right. We need five of these things. Object scanners. So, 15 beacons. I forgot to add more power on my space exploration map while I was having fun in orbit. You've got to set it up so it can take care of itself. Uh, where are we going? This one? Nope. Although that is next. Sulfur. That takes three minutes. This one takes three seconds. Let's do that first. We need 25, was it? 25 staters. These ones take a little while. Ten to go. Okay, you are getting automated as soon as possible. Alright, let's go. Can't afford. Oh, I need wire, which is literally right here. And then this only takes three seconds as well. Now we have inhalers. The next thing is this one. Three minutes. Let's go. Why don't we use our zip line? Oh. That's gonna be a bit tricky here. Oh boy, there it goes. But uh, not so much over here. This will grab the present. 
and the health. And what we came for. I guess we'll take a few stacks. Now let's just take all of it so we don't have to come here too often. I'm not about to set up a truck to come and pick that stuff up either. some more of this stuff. I think we're fine on most of these resources for now. Oh, I actually have five stacks of rods. Come to think of it, Uh, I guess I can't hand craft or use the crafting bench. Yeah, I can't use the crafting bench for the alternate recipes. That's okay. Encased steel beam is actually really easy. Just add concrete to steel. Or well, to steel beams, rather. And I think it's about time we start um, automating dumping resources into the awesome sink. Probably could have done it a bit sooner, to be honest, but not that much sooner. All right, now we have detonators. I need rubber for that, and some advanced stuff for this one. I can get another hand equipment slot, and six more inventory slots once I have some more steel. Nice. Um, let's just double check the milestones. I think there's nothing to do for the moment. Oh, dead wrong. And I need 300 copper sheet. Um, encased steel beams, though. Hello, truck. Uh, we're actually not putting this in storage, so it's only the one stack. There's a lot more over that way, but I'm not going to worry about it for the moment. Until we have those encased steel beams. I was working on better panels though. It will be fine when buffers fill up and the factory stops working. Wait, what'll be fine exactly? Oh, I see what you mean. But it'll, it's going to be eaten by biters, it sounds like. Alright, let's just grab one stack of that. And we'll head up this way. Should be most of a stack over here. Oh, it only stacks to a hundred. Wait, no. I, th I think that was a coincidence. Yeah, it stacks to 200. Okay, let's upgrade 
get rid of the final bottleneck, we'll upgrade the uh, the belt that brings us coal. I think we have enough. Fantastic. So this is 120 per minute right now. I don't have any overclocky things on me at the moment, but I just want to go back here and double check that 120, uh, whether it's a bottleneck or not. They destroyed a few turrets and power got back on. It's already recovering slowly. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I'm really looking forward to hypertubes at this point. Um, so four times 45 per minute is 180. Yeah, we need a 50% overclock on that coal. Let's go get it. presence. Also, how much, uh, how much encased steel beams could I make right now? 33. I could finish the research. I think I'll do that. Well, not research, but the, uh, milestone. It would probably be better to automate it first, but I don't care. Here we have a ludicrous amount of accumulated copper products. Oh, there's actually a lot of wire here as well. Cable, we're fine. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I don't have enough. There we go. I love the placement of that particular present right there. That looks, that actually looks like handcrafted. And up we go. What? Okay. Um, up a sheet. Encased steel beam. And we just need... 32. That's more than I thought. Wait, we're not going to have enough. Uh, we're, we're going to be just a little bit short, I think. We need another 15. We have just enough. And that'll be the last uh, milestone until we do the next uh, space elevator thing. Okay. And away we go. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work. As oh you yeah, they look very safe. Tight turns. Build them so... Today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible... I'll get the coupons and we won't worry about those points right there. Just gonna delete this now. 
I think it would be better to consume the overflow of the steel products, but I don't really see a way... Oh, I do see a way we could do that. If we use a large container and a smart splitter and prioritize its input going back to its output, I mean output going back to its input, uh, then it will only output from, uh, from the other location. That doesn't look right. It, it'll, basically it'll only output when it's full, which is what we're looking for. So let's do, uh, this. Fifteen per minute is not a lot. I'll fit on one belt. We'll need a, a couple, actually, of industrial storage containers. Put this one over here, I think. I don't have enough ladder, please. Steel beams, please. And then... Industrial storage. Put a bit of room in front, or in between rather. We need some mergers. That looks pretty good. The ladder's kind of in the way. Twenty per minute, one hundred and twenty per minute total. So this is tier two belt, and the rest can be tier one. And then What's the, what's the neatest way to do this? I guess we could do it like that. If I don't bother with the smart splitter... Um, we could have half of it go back into storage. It might, in this case, I think, uh, actually, let's do a tier two throughput for there, and we'll dump 60 per minute into the sink. So we didn't actually need a smart splitter, unless we want to, I think we will use a smart splitter for steel plate, because I really want to make sure I have plenty of that. But, uh, steel pipe is a bit easier. So here we'll put the sink. If I can figure out how to rotate it. That's not a very good position. How about this? 
Is that going to be sticking out? Yeah, I don't like that very much. Let's do it right about here. You send pipes from the lower to the top storage box and take them back down with the second lift? Yep, that's what we're doing. Wait, did I put it facing the wrong way? Nope, it's fine. So this is a tier 2 belt, um, and we're just going to do a tier 1 going into the sink. Going to need a merger. So without a smart splitter, that's a decent uh, prioritization system, I think. You looked at it and still did not see the error? What's the problem? We've got pipe going in here, into here, and then back here, and then it, it comes out this way but slower. So we're allowing it to go into the sink, but we're prioritizing accumulating it in storage. Uh, Frankie DK, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I might just merge all of those up there instead of bringing them down on three separate lifts. Maybe here. And... Where, where do I actually want to put this storage container? That seems pretty good, actually. Do I want to do the same thing, or do I want to use the smart splitter this time so that we completely fill the storage before putting anything into the sink. Hmm. I think this is fine, actually. Smart split is much better. Except it's going to have to fill both of these, or well, at least one of these giant containers before we get anything into the sink if I do that. But considering steel is kind of more... Yeah, we need more steel. I think we will use the smart splitter for this one. Okay, so... Smart splitter... I think I need to make one of these AI limiters. And then, like so. I'll just do it like that. Container goes here. And then we need the I think we'll just do it like this. Left uh center is overflow, right doesn't matter, left is any. And then we just need to put it into the container. Caterium or quartz are good for sinking early on. Well, I don't have those handy right now. Um, how about right here? 
for the merger. And a lift. That looks pretty good. And then let's check the rate. Uh, less than... The whole thing is less than one uh, belt. One regular belt. Whoops. That would have been an easier way to do it. Alright, fantastic. So, all of the steel is going to go around in circles until this fills up. And then we're going to start to sink steel. Although now I think about it, maybe this doesn't make that much sense, because I think we calculated this whole thing to be double the rate that we're producing steel ingots, so that could, so that it could produce either of those resources at full speed. So currently we're doing 180 ingots per minute. Um, that goes into... 30, 60, 180 per minute, plus, one hundred and eighty per minute, yeah. In that case, maybe I shouldn't sink. Uh, 60 steel pipe per minute. But I do want to sink something, not just wait for all of this to accumulate. There's a few things I want uh, that are quite cheap, token-wise. So this will be half... That's okay, actually. Yeah, half of everything we're producing here is going to be sunk. Okay, that's maybe a little much. Yeah, that's a little much. Let's not do it this way. If it was just the pipe, I think that would be fine. But since it's not, let's do another smart splitter. Uh, smart. Oh, AI limiter is what we need here. And then... This goes here. Right is overflow. I feel like that looks a little bit better. And then... Then we need to go all the way back around with this thing. Oh, we've already got a another way to merge it in. Looks fairly neat, I think. Yeah, that's way neater than going back up this way. I guess. Okay. If you split it before the stone... Oh, the store. So it either goes to store or is synced. No reason for it to keep circling. I guess. But this way we have nice sushi. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Okay, let's power this thing up. Wait, now I'm having no trouble putting the power line on top of the 
splitter. I want. I wonder why I couldn't do it over there. Whatever the case. That is not going to take very long at all to get us the first few tokens. Um, obviously it's going to slow down after that. And... Next we need to figure out how to make... 